Ling Xiao is a villainous character, laughing mischievously as he pours poison into the water. Waited so long for this day. The drama is about to begin. The scene shifts to Yi Chen. He wonders, is that Qinglan sect? Elder Si, is my destined truly in Qinglan sect? Elder Si appears. My calculations never fail. Your destined is indeed in the mountain. Soon, it will be the day of Qinglan sect's disciple gathering. You will find out then. Yi Chen smiles. I'm looking forward to it then. He looks down at the water nearby. This water looks peculiar. Right on cue, a spiritual beast appears in the sky. Yi Chen panics, the beast seems troubled. Xiao Diao, go after it. Yi Chen calls out loudly. Nearby, Lu Yinin, a disciple of Qinglan sect, rushes over upon hearing the call. What's happening? You were fine just a moment ago. Why did you lose control right after drinking water? As she runs, she trips and falls. When she looks up, she sees Ling Xiao in front of her. Little junior sister, you've finally fallen into my hands. Your spiritual beast lost control because of me. In this deep and desolate forest, it's just you and me. Behave, so big brother can take good care of you, Ling Xiao says. But Yi Chen quickly appears from behind and knocks Ling Xiao down with a single strike. Yi Chen reassures Lu Yinin. It's okay, because I'm here. Lu Yinin, unconcerned, looks around for her pet. Don't worry, my pet helped control it, Yi Chen says before pointing his sword at Ling Xiao. How dare you drug and dishonor junior sister in such a beautiful place? You are truly despicable. But when they see Ling Xiao's face, both Yi Chen and Elder Si are stunned. He's a young man in white clothes with an extremely handsome face. Elder Si remarks, such virtue does not match his appearance. Yi Chen agrees, indeed. Being a man, appearance matters least. Ling Xiao questions, who are you to meddle in my affairs? I am the senior disciple of Shen Xuanfeng of Qinglan sect. Quickly state your identity. Yi Chen straightforwardly replies, names may change, surnames may differ, but I am Yi Chen. Ling Xiao starts to worry. Yi Chen, are you perhaps the prince of Beichuan? Yi Chen smiles. Indeed, it is I. Ling Xiao sighs before bursting into laughter. The dog at home mourns, and you is wanted by the whole the empress. Wanting to seek asylum in our Qinglan sect. Kneel down and beg for forgiveness, and perhaps I'll spare you. Reluctantly accept you as a disciple. Yi Chen mutters, thirty years in Handong, thirty years in Hashi. Don't underestimate others, Ling Xiao asks again, what did you say? I didn't catch that. Ling Xiao smiles. Exactly, I'm coming here just like in the novel. In my previous life, my name was Ling Xiao, a normal college student with a singular passion for reading novels. I inexplicably fell into a coma while reading a peculiar ancient style novel called Emperor of Long Hao Tian. When I woke up, I had transmigrated and become a villainous character with the same name and surname in a novel. As the senior disciple of Shen Xuanfeng of Qinglan Sec, I discovered that I also had a system, a villain system that told me as long as I completed the role according to the novel's plot, I could immediately return to Earth and reunite with my family. Of course, I, Ling Xiao, wouldn't die now. The plot here is that the male lead, Yi Chen, will appear and perform heroically to save the beauty. And the beauty here is none other than Ling Xiao's fourth junior sister. Fourth junior sister Lu Yinin will see through the true face of big brother Ling Xiao and fall in love with Yi Chen. Because of this, I hold a grudge against Yi Chen. After Yi Chen joined Qinglan sect, I immediately became a villain, always causing trouble for Yi Chen and always ending up in a miserable defeat, eventually desperate and committing suicide. That's when I complete the system's mission and return home. Just as Yi Chen is about to stab Ling Xiao, Lu Yinin kicks him, sending Ling Xiao into confusion. Lu Yinin acts cute. Big brother, are you okay? It's all because of that rude person who ruined our good moment. We will continue. Ling Xiao panics. What's happening? This isn't written in the script. System, system, come out quickly. Junior sister has been replaced. Lu Yinin's expression changes. The current task is more urgent. We have to kill the one who ruined it. Ling Xiao is stunned. Wait, what do you say, I can't hear clearly. Junior sister said it again. Lu Yinin laughs. That rotten man dared to touch big brother. Of course, junior sister must kill him. Ling Zhao's head is spinning, he felt confused. The male protagonist's harem, wanting to kill the male protagonist himself, the script is all messed up. 
Shortly after, Lu Yin regrets, he managed to escape. Yi Chen is being taken away by Xiao Diao. Elder Si appears. The situation has changed drastically. Ling Xiao is still panicking, urgently calling out to the system. Explain what's happening. How could one of the female leads, Lu Yin, be affected like this? The system notification pops up. The system is updating to a new version. Please call again later. At this moment, with a look of desire on her face, Lu Yin appears behind Ling Xiao. Big brother, come here. Ling Xiao retreats in fear. Ah, it's about to rain. I haven't packed my clothes yet. I'll go first. Then he runs away, secretly thinking. Anyway, I've completed my lines for this scene, and the system didn't say I deviated from the plot. If I stay longer, the story might deviate. Retreat now. Lu Yinin watches Ling Xiao leave, secretly thinking. The spiritual beast lost control, big brother, Yi Chen, everything is happening today. Those memories are all real. The scene shifts to Ling Xiao's dream. He's exhausted, looking ahead, and all the women around him are covered in blood. Unexpectedly, I died at her hands. Ling Xiao wakes up startled. That dream was so strange, it felt so real. How could, my death be arranged by the author, my name is Ling Xiao. I was led to a harem novel about Yi Chen called Emperor of the Heavens. My identity is the senior disciple of Shen Chuanfeng. In the Qinglan sect, I have three junior sisters and a beautiful female master. My three junior sisters and master are all part of the male protagonist's harem. Unfortunately, the male protagonist of the novel is not me. The male protagonist's name is Yi Chen, a heaven-selected genius with extraordinary luck. I only became a lecherous and idle villain, specializing in malicious acts against the male protagonist. Then, I was slapped in the face time and time again, ending up in a miserable defeat and suicide. These things aren't the main point. The main point is, I have a system. As long as I restore the settings of the villain character Ling Xiao and complete the character's storyline, I can return to my own world. Yesterday, I followed the plot of the novel, causing fourth junior sister's spiritual beast to lose control, and I took the opportunity to harass junior sister. At the crucial moment when the male protagonist Yi Chen was about to rescue the beauty, unexpectedly, a kick from junior sister ruined the whole script. I clearly acted according to the plot. Why did fourth junior sister suddenly attack the male protagonist? She even wanted to kill him. At this moment, Huai Zhen, a disciple of Shen Chuanfeng, appears. Big brother, today is the day to report to master, so let's get up. Big brother, let me help you wash up, Huai Zhen offers. Ling Xiao introduces, this is my little dog, a character even more villainous than me. Huai Zhen praises, big brother, you still look handsome as always. Ling Xiao thinks, it's a pity for this handsome face. Why does fate make me a villainous character? The scene shifts elsewhere. Ling Xiao thinks to himself, Master's mountain peak is indeed far, but I can't make excuses. Huai Zhen hands Ling Xiao a sword. Big brother, go leisurely. Ling Xiao takes it and jumps onto the cable car. He silently thinks, the system seems to be on strike, but the storyline must continue. I don't know why fourth junior sister's settings got messed up. Hopefully, the other female leads won't be affected. Suddenly, a voice speaks out, as the senior disciple of the sect, you don't even know the fly sword art, it's truly embarrassing for our sect. Three disciples appear one after another. Guo Yurong, the second disciple of Shen Chuanfeng Qinglan sect, wearing a black and red dress, says, even the newly initiated disciples know the fly sword art. It's a waste of the sect's resources to build cable cars. Truly shameful. Lu Yinin rides her spiritual beast forward. Indeed, that money could have been used to buy food for Xiaoyu. And the person sitting on the swan is Chu Yuwei, the third disciple of Shen Chuanfeng, who remains silent. Ling Xiao is moved by this scene, it's good that the character settings of Junior Sister are restored. Fourth Junior Sister is back to normal too. He says, as usual, the finances of the sect are managed by the senior disciple. So, I can spend it wherever I want. If you sisters are willing, come to my room for a late night chat. Who knows, I might give you some money for cultivation. Guo Yurong swiftly flies past, causing the cable car to spin continuously. She says, you're only arrogant because master is absent. Wait until master returns, and you won't have a good ending. The other two also fly past with indifference. Ling Xiao is dazed. This is the correct way to start the daily life of a villainous character. This time it's stable. 
The scene shifts to the Valley of Ten Thousand Flowers, where all four of them pay respects to Master. Ling Xiao says, Greetings, Master. However, Huo Yurong interrupted. Master has been in seclusion. For the past three years, everything in the sect has been smooth sailing. Apart from a few who have always been lazy, the other disciples have been diligently cultivating, and their cultivation levels have gradually increased. The disciples have also successfully completed their tasks. We hope Master will exit seclusion soon and guide us. Chu Yuei said, Disciple has also reached the innate stage. Lu Yinin also greeted, Disciple has also broken through to the innate stage. All my spirit pets have reached the foundation establishment stage. Finally, it was Ling Zhao's turn. As Guiyurong mentioned, under the leadership and management of the disciples, the sect is developing day by day. Disciple misses Master very much and hope Master will return soon. As for my own cultivation progress, I am trying not to fall behind and am still at the foundation establishment stage. Guiyurong greeted, Master, there is one more thing. The Grand Disciple Recruitment Event, held every five years, is approaching. This is a significant matter. The Great Sword Sect asked me to convey their hopes that Master will exit seclusion soon to select the most suitable personal disciple to revitalize our sect. A total of 3,000 applications have been submitted to Shenshuanfeng. Among them is one particularly special application. The owner of that letter is named Yi Chen, the Prince of Baichuan from the Eastern Zhou Dynasty. His talent is so exceptional that it once shook the entire Great Zhou continent. Even the Empress is wary of him. Shenshuanfeng has not accepted new disciples for ten years. If this person can pass the test and join Shenshuanfeng, it would make up for the fact that the male disciples of Shenshuanfeng have been unable to shoulder great responsibilities. At this moment, the Xianyu system screen appeared. The Salted Fish Antagonist system has been updated. Host, the current plot is progressing very smoothly. We hope the host will continue to strive. Ling Xiao was pleased. Great, it seems that what happened yesterday was indeed just an accident. The male protagonist Yi Chen is about to ascend the mountain. My death is near. After completing the task, I can finally go home. Lu Yinin looked at Ling Xiao, a memory of a past life emerged. At that time, Ling Xiao had been defeated. Lu Yinin went to Yi Chen and said, Your name is Yi Chen, right? Thank you for saving me. If it weren't for you, I would have been violated by the evil Big Brother. Ling Xiao struggled to say, Lu Yinin, listen to Big Brother and stay away from that man. He. Lu Yinin angrily replied, Big Brother, if you obstruct Yi Chen again, don't blame me for being unkind to you. Yi Chen smiled, Ling Xiao, everything you do is in vain. The scene shifted to a later time when Lu Yinin was sobbing. Yi Chen, don't you love me the most? Tell me. Yi Chen said, of course, I love you, but I also love them. At this moment, the Qinglan sect was also burned down, and a great demon king shouted loudly, hand over Yi Chen. Lu Yinin sat on the ground, crying. Lies, all lies. Yi Chen, why did you deceive me? Big brother, I was wrong. The scene shifts to the present. Lu Yinin recalled that two days ago, she suddenly had some inexplicable fragments of memories. Yesterday, Yi Chen indeed arrived as predicted. She had a feeling that these memories were not just hints of the future but also warnings from the past. Why did I love that person? Why was the Qinglan sect exterminated? What exactly did Big Brother, whom I always regarded as a despicable person, do? I must investigate thoroughly. The scene shifts to Yi Chen. A group of people surrounded Xiaodiao. You dare eat my melons? Fortunately, with Shen Chuanfeng's magic weapon, we were able to capture it. Kill it. The scene shifts to Ling Xiao. Someone came to report, that beast has been captured. Too bad for my melons. Ling Xiao asked, old farmer, are your melons ripe? The farmer led Ling Xiao to the garden. They are certainly ripe. Ling Xiao said, I will buy all your melons. The farmer quickly bowed. Thank you, sir. Ling Xiao turned to Xiao Diao, spat, and kicked it in the face. Your master ruined my good thing, and I haven't settled accounts with him yet. Now that you've fallen into my hands, I'll play with you. Want to eat melons? I'll let you eat to your heart's content. At this moment, Yi Chen appeared. Stop. So it's you. Release my Xiao Diao. Ling Xiao smiled. Well, well, you've come. I thought you wouldn't show up, and your spirit pet would have eaten all the melons. Is the author stupid? Giving it free melons is no insult. A person questioned, is this the beast you raised? 
If Lord Ling Xiao hadn't intervened, this beast would have eaten all my melons. You have to compensate me. Yi Chen retorted, Compensate you? All I see is you tying up my Xiao Diao and using inferior food to humiliate it. It's a foundation establishment divine beast with the bloodline of ancient divine beasts. You mere mortals are not worthy to touch it. Ling Xiao shouted, Do you know who I am? I am a disciple of the Qinglan sect of Shenchuanfeng. You, a mere former heir of the fallen Beiyuan, have no right to shout in front of me. If you want to join my Qinglan sect, you must obediently compensate me and kneel to apologize. Yi Chen, furious, drew his sword and charged. I don't care who you are, even if the heavenly king bullies my spirit pet, I won't let it go. Yi Chen swung his sword, causing a huge explosion. Moments later, Ling Xiao fled, saying, just you wait. This left Yi Chen bewildered. Ling Xiao looked at the Xian Yu system. Host has successfully completed the plot point. He rejoiced, it went smoothly. The cannon fodder roll has taken another step forward. The Xian Yu system announced, you have received a random reward. Root plus 3, comprehension plus 10. The level of the entire system has increased by plus 1. Multi-person healing plus 1. Ling Xiao was puzzled. What happened? Wasn't it said that after completing the character's ending, you can directly receive the final reward and ascend to immortality? Why is there a reward in the process? System, give me an explanation. The Xian Yu system explained, Hello, host. This system is a director being. In the current world, it crafts exquisite content, rich and full of many surprises and unknown functions waiting to be discovered. Ling Xiao, annoyed, said, That's no different from saying nothing. Forget it, the plot point has been completed. There shouldn't be any problems, right? The scene shifts to Yi Chen, who was examining Xiao Diao. Elder Si appeared, young man, you were too impulsive. The status of that person in the Qinglan sect is not low. Offending him may make tomorrow's master acceptance test difficult. Elder Si, you know me. Even though I am a fallen heir, I will never let mere mortals humiliate me. Elder Si thought to himself, this young man, despite his youth, has such a spirit. It seems I did not choose the wrong person. Someone approached, young hero, it was all a misunderstanding. Please be magnanimous. Yi Chen pushed him away. In this life, I, Yi Chen, am unruly and unrestrained, but I hate those who harm my friends and family the most. Everyone was terrified, please spare us. Yi Chen said, you don't need to be afraid. I, Yi Chen, act with clear distinctions between grievances and gratitude and never kill the innocent. Tell me, is there an inn nearby? Someone answered, I. I know, there is an inn nearby. Let me lead the way, young hero. Lu Yinin, standing behind, witnessed everything and became angry. I spit on this double standard scoundrel. You only allow your beast to destroy others' crops but don't allow others to fight back. In that memory, why was I so blind to value him? Even Big Brother is better than him. What's good about it? Taking the title of the senior disciple of Shenchuanfeng yet still getting bullied by outsiders. It's truly disgraceful. Moreover, he runs away after the fight, leaving innocent old men bullied. I must check if the old man is alright. Suddenly, she saw Ling Xiao. He handed something to the old man. Sorry, this elixir is compensation for you. Lu Yinin was confused. Big brother, I understand you less and less each day. Who exactly are you? No matter what, I will not let Yi Chen join Qinglan sect. Tomorrow is the test. It seems second senior sister values Yi Chen highly. How can I interfere with Yi Chen's test without her knowing? The scene shifts to the next day. Everyone had gathered for the test. Hui Yorong announced, if you can't even pass a simple test like this, I advise you to go back home. Qinglan sect does not accept trash. Everyone was abuzz. Who is she? Idiot, you don't even know that? She is the second disciple of Shenchuanfeng, the personal disciple of that person, and the sole heir of the legendary sword cultivation family. Yi Chen spoke up. That's right, if you're afraid of the first test, then don't come here and embarrass yourself. A red-haired guy angrily said, who are you calling embarrassing? The person next to him worriedly said, he is the heir of the king of Beixian, Yi Chen. He has extraordinary talent. Fighting him is not advantageous. Yi Chen bowed. I've heard of you. I am Yi Chen, Guiyorong coldly responded, I am Guiyorong. Yi Chen secretly looked at Guiyorong and thought, Elder Si, you were right. Qinglan sect is indeed the place of my opportunity. 
Elder C appeared. Boy, I think you're just smitten with girls. Yi Chen blushed. I just want to exchange sword techniques with her and improve together. I heard that second senior sister Guiyorong is very skilled in swordsmanship. There are some cultivation issues I want to ask her about. At this moment, Ling Xiao appeared. The test hasn't even started, why are you cozying up to the examiner? Yi Chen smiled. I just feel a bond with second senior sister Guiyorong at first sight and want to exchange sword techniques with her. Ling Xiao sneered. A rogue cultivator who hasn't even entered a sect like you, what qualifications do you have to exchange sword techniques with my junior sister? What, are you trying to bribe the examiner? Yi Chen replied, second senior sister Guiyorong said Qinglan sect doesn't accept trash. It seems there are exceptions, I wonder who is using underhanded methods to join the immortal sect. Huai Zhen shouted, my big brother is just hiding his strength. If he weren't, he would have knocked your teeth out by now. Who do you think you are? My big brother holds the highest record on that stairway. Who allowed you to criticize here? Yi Chen looked up in surprise. The stairway has the name Ling Xiao on it. What? He can reach that high? Ling Xiao thought to himself, although the origin of this highest record was a misunderstanding, whatever, it makes it easier for me to act. Everyone was talking. His strength doesn't seem that impressive. He seems to be only at the foundation establishment stage. Could he really be hiding his true power? Qinglan's sect is indeed not simple. Yi Chen, annoyed, said, then I'm really curious how you passed the test. Can you share some of your experience? I'd like to broaden my horizons. Ling Xiao picked his nose. Just climb up. Is it that difficult? Guiyorong said, the assessment of Qinglan's sect has always been fair and without trickery. Yi Chen replied, I misspoke. Elder Si advised, young friend, don't get too agitated. Ling Xiao already doesn't like you, there's no need to provoke him. Yi Chen said, regardless of what methods he used, I will rely on my own strength to win. Today, I will break his record. Guiyorong began to announce the rules. The rules are simple. Challengers are not allowed to use any weapons or magical items. Only your own spiritual power can be used to climb the stairs. Anyone caught cheating will be disqualified for life and barred from joining the sect. Those who reach the top 100 steps will qualify to participate in the Grand Apprentice selection. Those who surpass that can challenge the highest record. The higher the step, the greater the pressure. Forcing a breakthrough can damage your spiritual roots, so I hope everyone will act within their limits. From here on, it depends on your skills. The test begins. At the signal, everyone rushed up the stairs. Some began to tire quickly. The spiritual pressure is too strong, I can't take it anymore. I've come this far, I can't give up now. Look at that guy, he's a monster. Yi Chen was smug. This bit of spiritual pressure is nothing. Watch, not only will I pass the highest steps and set a new record, but I will also surpass Ling Xiao. Second senior sister Guiyorong will fall for me. Ling Xiao thought to himself, according to the original plot, the villain Ling Xiao was jealous of Yi Chen's talent and deliberately tried to make Yi Chen trip during the stairway test. However, Yi Chen, the son of destiny, used his superior strength to smash Ling Xiao's scheme and even broke the stairway record. He was so arrogant that he left his handprint on the Qinglan sex stone tablet, becoming famous from then on. It's time to act. Ling Xiao shot a pebble towards Yi Chen. But Yi Chen quickly dodged it, causing the pebble to hit someone nearby and make them fall off the steps. Guiyorong reminded sternly, Big brother, the sex examination must be fair. Interfering deliberately affects the sex honor. I pretended not to see what happened earlier, but do not repeat it. Ling Xiao replied, I was just itching to do something. Got it, got it. He thought to himself, the second pebble I throw will be deflected by Yi Chen and hit me in the face. Guiyorong will no longer tolerate it and will directly call out my tricks. Next, the villain Ling Xiao has one final trick. Elder Si reminded, young friend, don't lose focus. You're almost there. Yi Chen smiled confidently. Don't worry, I, the crown prince, won't bother with such lowly tricks from a foundation establishment stage. Suddenly, Ling Xiao shouted loudly, look. There's a beautiful woman flying in the sky without clothes. Both Elder Si and Yi Chen looked up. Taking advantage of the distraction, Ling Xiao launched another pebble, but Yi Chen caught it effortlessly. Yi Chen laughed scornfully, such a lowly trick. Ling Xiao smiled. You caught it. Come on, throw it at me. 
But then, Yi Chen suddenly fell off the steps, surprising everyone. Ling Xiao was shocked. This is different from the original plot. Is the Son of Destiny really only capable of this? At this moment, Lu Yin appeared among the crowd. Everyone commented, the strength of this Yi Chen is indeed extraordinary. He went further than others. Why did he fall? Someone nearby said, I think he got too excited and jumped off. Lu Yinin thought, it truly is like in a memory of a past life. Big Brother failed to stop Yi Chen. When Big Brother throws the stone again, it will backfire. I need to help Big Brother. Back to Ling Xiao, who was about to throw the second pebble. The villain still had one last trick. The second pebble thrown would be deflected by Yi Chen and hit Ling Xiao in the face. Guo Yurong would discover and stop his trick. Just as Yi Chen caught the pebble, Lu Yinin acted. I've placed a chameleon on the steps a day before, just for now. The chameleon wrapped its tongue around Yi Chen's leg, causing him to fall off the steps. Lu Yinin exclaimed, it worked. Yi Chen, bewildered, thought, how could I stop here? I am the crown prince of Beichuan. He grabbed onto another person's leg to jump back up. That person angrily shouted, you, you're cheating. Supervisor, punish him immediately. Yi Chen turned and questioned, what rule did I break? Did I use a magical artifact? Did I use a weapon? I relied on my spiritual power to get here. Guo Yurong replied, no rule was broken. Yi Chen continued to advance. Everyone for themselves. The number of spots for the sect is limited. Instead of finding fault with others, worry about yourself. He then arrogantly declared himself the first to reach the steps. The crowd jostled each other. Don't block my way. Move aside. Ling Xiao thought, as expected, Yi Chen's arrogance persists. Bullying the weak. Huai Zhen was furious. Yi Chen is so despicable, are we really going to let someone like him join Qinglan sect? Ling Xiao said, the formation on the steps didn't disqualify him, so he didn't break any rules. He thought, although the process was roundabout, Yi Chen still passed the test. Let's see how he breaks my record. Lu Yinin worried. Yi Chen is truly a despicable person. With the scene so chaotic, is there really no way to stop him? Yi Chen smugly ascended step by step, reaching the 95th, the 96th, the 97th steps. Then he saw the step with Ling Zhao's name. Ling Xiao, I will place your name beneath my feet. Huai Zhen was alarmed. That's Big Brother's highest record, right? As Yi Chen arrogantly stepped onto the step with Ling Zhao's name, he was suddenly struck down by a large stone. Lu Yinin was surprised. I haven't even attacked him. Ling Xiao, looking around angrily, said, Who did that? Guo Yurong stated, Indeed, he doesn't deserve to join the sect. Her memory flashed back. In the present, Guo Yurong said, Someone who disregards the rules should never have entered our sect in the first place, right, big brother? Ling Xiao quickly agreed, Ah, junior sister is right. He thought, Isn't she supposed to help Yi Chen? Guo Yurong turned to Yi Chen. If my memory of a past life is true, I absolutely cannot let this person join our sect. Yi Chen was struggling to climb up. Elder Si encouraged him, young friend, persevere a little longer, don't give up here. Yi Chen tried to grab the leg of the person in front of him but was noticed. Still trying? Do you think I'm a fool? Yi Chen, unwilling to give up, thought, am I really going to fall behind here? I haven't avenged myself yet, haven't obtained my opportunity. I refuse to accept this. My life shouldn't be like this. Yi Chen was suddenly lifted up. Elder Si whispered, My abilities can only bypass the formation once, but now many forces are watching. I can't act overtly. Yi Chen, filled with rage, declared, Today, I must enter this broken sect. Elder Si, help me. Elder Si replied, I'll help you one last time. Seize the opportunity. Guo Yurong sensed something and prepared to counteract. Ling Xiao, anxious, thought, What is this momentum? If the protagonist Yi Chen fails, what will happen to the storyline? No matter what, Yi Chen must pass the trial. With that, Ling Xiao rushed forward and embraced Guo Yurong. She questioned, Brother, what are you doing? Ling Xiao, bewildered, thought, Oh no, I acted before thinking. How do I explain this? The demon inside him spoke up, Junior sister, I have feelings for you. Be my woman. The angel said, It's windy, so I'm warming you up. The demon urged, a man should not be afraid. The angel chastised, Ling Xiao, you beast. She's the sister who grew up with you. 
Finally, Ling Xiao said aloud, Stop it, Guiyurong. Everyone is watching. The crowd buzzed with gossip. So, they have that kind of relationship? Bold in broad daylight. We're taking a test while they're romancing. Guiyurong, blushing, threw Ling Xiao to the ground. Big brother, you're a pervert. Ling Xiao smiled. Junior sister Gua, let big brother handle this. Guiyurong thought, could it be he's worried my tricks will be discovered and is protecting my reputation? Ling Xiao, frustrated, thought, dealing with the protagonist is the role of a cannon fodder. Don't take that away from me. Suddenly, someone shouted, look, he's breaking the record, how did he suddenly become so strong? Damn, Yi Chen is flying up and has just struck the Qinglan Sect Stone Monument. Guo Yurong thought, if it's like the memory of a past life, he not only succeeded but also broke Big Brother's record. There must be someone behind him. It won't be simple to deal with him. Ling Xiao, relieved, thought, as expected of the protagonist, though the process was chaotic, the outcome is satisfactory. I just hope the Grand Disciple selection goes smoothly without further incidents. Yi Chen pointed at Ling Xiao, vowing, the humiliation I received today will be repaid a thousandfold. The scene shifted to the main hall of the Qinglan sect. The head of the sect inquired, Hui Yurong, how is the selection ceremony going? She reported, leader, in this trial, there were a total of 3,000 challengers. Only 300 passed. Additionally, over 100 were injured, and more than 50 were disqualified for breaking the rules. The sect head questioned the increase in injuries and rule-breaking incidents compared to previous years. Hui Yurong explained, this is related to a challenger named Yi Chen. The sect head, surprised, remarked, Yi Chen, the prince of Beichuan? I didn't expect him to come to Qinglan sect and cause such a disturbance. This boy seems to bring chaos wherever he goes. Guo Yurong voiced her concern about Yi Chen's combative and arrogant nature, despite passing the test. The sect head sighed, realizing that Yi Chen's actions were within the rules since he hadn't been affected by the formation. Furthermore, the trial was a form of competition, and Yi Chen's behavior wasn't entirely unjustified. Another member objected, stating that the Qinglan sect valued the moral character of its disciples. They argued that Yi Chen's manipulative nature didn't align with the sect's principles and suggested his disqualification. However, some agreed that Yi Chen's exceptional talent, demonstrated by breaking the record, shouldn't be dismissed lightly. They believed that the sect needed disciples who could compete based on their own strength. One master proposed letting Yi Chen participate in the Grand Disciple Selection the next day to determine if he truly had the talent. Then asked Guo Yurong. Has your master returned yet? Guo Yurong confirmed that her master was still in seclusion. Another member sighed, expressing hope that Guo Yurong's master would break through her stagnation in cultivation and contribute to the sect's future. Guo Yurong silently contemplated the events. If her memory from a past life wasn't mistaken, Yi Chen might be the pivotal turning point, but his presence seemed more like a curse than a blessing. Transitioning to the alchemy room of Shen Shuanfeng, everyone greeted Ling Xiao as big brother, in unison, pledging to follow his guidance. Ling Xiao spoke, let's uplift our spirits and continue learning. The path of alchemy is vast, and our generation must explore it with reverence for nature. The women replied, yes, big brother. The Xianyu system announced, the user has successfully restored their image and received a random windfall reward of 99 items related to alchemy. Additionally, the user's alchemy skill has been upgraded to the fifth rank. Ling Xiao exclaimed, amazing. Even though Yi Chen, after mapping out the vast territory of Qinglan sect, has only reached the fifth rank of alchemy, I'm already displaying this level daily. From initiation to the fifth rank, I'm surpassing him. He said, if you continue like this, even a despicable villain like me could replace Yi Chen and become the protagonist. Ling Xiao pondered briefly and then pushed aside the thought. What's important now is to steal some elixirs to prepare for the martial arts tournament tomorrow. Stealthily, Ling Xiao moved about without detection, relying on the story's plot development thus far. So far, so good. At that moment, Guo Yurong approached. Second senior sister Guo Yurong exposed Ling Xiao's theft of the elixirs, taking slow steps towards him. Ling Xiao put on a lecherous face. Little Dung, do you know? Every time Big Brother sees you, he thinks of a saying. He silently applauded his own acting skills, wishing he could punch this villainous character's mouth. Guo Yurong asked, what saying? Ling Xiao glanced at Guo Yurong's ample bosom. Little Yurong, you've grown quite well. Ling Xiao eagerly awaited the scolding, urging Guo Yurong to follow the script. He then imagined the lines Kua Chiu would use. You filthy mouth. You behave like a thug all day long, 
you're truly shameful in front of the disciples of Shenchuanfeng. However, Huiyurong blushed and said, Do you really feel that way, senior brother? How do I look compared to the two junior sisters? Ling Xiao to cry. That's not right. Her reaction is all wrong. This can't happen. I still want to go home. The plot must be absolutely correct. Reset the scene. Ling Xiao immediately put on a menacing face. Second junior sister, I'm not joking anymore. Let me tell you the truth. Big brother came to the alchemy tower today to find a certain elixir, specifically for a purpose you wouldn't understand. He thought to himself, I acted like a villain like that, surely she will hate me, right? Hui Yorong handed Ling Xiao the elixir. Big brother, is this the elixir you were looking for? Ling Xiao was taken aback. How did she know? Well, never mind. I'll take it first and figure it out later. He then took the elixir, thinking, this seven extremes pill isn't bad. I'll use it to deal with the person I hate the most. Ling Xiao smirked to himself, pleased with his evil actions. But Guo Yorong was moved. My big brother is so adorable. I never noticed before. I must have been blind. Fortunately, with those memories, I now know the true face of Big Brother and what will happen later. Rest assured, Big Brother, I've touched this seven extremes pill already. This time, we won't fail. The scene shifts to the Valley of Ten Thousand Flowers, the person seated inside was the master of Shenchuanfeng. The Qinglan sect was located in the vast land of Shenchua's eastern valley. There were five main peaks in Qinglan sect, known as Fengmingfeng, Shenchuanfeng, Qianfeng, Taiyandangfeng, and Longxiaofeng. Each peak had its own distinct teaching. The presiding master of Shenchuanfeng was Xiao Hongling, renowned as the first beauty of the Valley of Ten Thousand Flowers. Xiao Hongling had a carefree and open-minded personality, enjoying drinking and being quite vain about her appearance. She often traveled down the mountain for leisure, paying little attention to the sex affairs. She did whatever she wanted. However, she was very domineering with outsiders and extremely caring and protective of her disciples. Even though Ling Xiao was a useless waste, Xiao Hongling had never driven him down the mountain because of it. But according to the story's plot, right when the master hadn't yet made an appearance, Ling Xiao's lustful mind couldn't resist stealing the master's white silk stocking and hiding it in his pocket. The next day, after his fight with Yi Chen, when Yi Chen's spiritual pet found it, the whole courtyard was in an uproar. Ling Xiao was utterly defeated. Xiao Hongling locked Ling Xiao up, and three years later, she was thoroughly disappointed. In the plot, Yi Chen repeatedly slapped Ling Xiao's face, eventually personally severing Ling Xiao's spiritual root, reducing him to an ordinary mortal. The scene shifts to the Valley of Ten Thousand Flowers, Ling Xiao felt anxious. The deeds of this villainous Ling Xiao were truly despicable. He even dared to steal the master's silk stockings used for nurturing himself into maturity. After completing this scene I can go home to sleep. Suddenly, he blushed as he noticed the mess in the master's room. What had the master done before leaving? According to the plot, while admitting new disciples at the main hall, discovered that his belongings had been stolen. Ling Xiao realized he had to be careful and not leave any traces of disturbance at the scene.so that my master wouldn't find out. Looking around, Ling Xiao panicked. Where did the stockings go, he thought. System, today is definitely the scene where I'm going to plot to steal socks, right? Dot. The Xianyu system appeared. Yes, today is the point where the stockings are stolen. Please complete the task, master. Lang Tiu wears glasses and thinks. No problem, this small issue won't trouble me. A drinker like the master wouldn't be able to drink after taking up his position, so before his inauguration, he must have had quite a few drinks. Then, after sweating, he'd want to take a bath and undress slowly. As he predicted, and indeed, the last stocking was found here. Xian Yu system announced that it had completed the plot to steal white socks. Ling Xiao was ecstatic. Very good. The journey home is almost over. It seems he saw himself admitting new disciples the next day, conveniently getting slapped by Yi Chen. At that moment, all his reputation was lost. Going home was only a matter of time. Afterward, Ling Xiao left. Xiao Hongling appeared. I didn't expect him to be just as described in the memory. He really did steal the master's stockings. It seems everything said in that memory is true. Xiao Hongling's past life memory emerged. She handed Yi Chen a sword. This sword, bestowed by my master, is now yours. From now on, you and I are one. Ling Xiao felt remorseful. Master, there's still time. Trust me. 
Scene changer, many years later, the image of Qinglan sect being annihilated pained Xiao Hongling. Why, why did it turn out like this? Did I truly make a mistake? Transitioning to reality, Xiao Hongling was furious. I can't believe it. I'm bowing my head to a man and even handing over the sword. Yi Chen, what kind of existence are you? Ling Xiao, what role do you play in there? Everything was becoming more intriguing. If she had known the consequences in the future, none of what she remembered would have happened. Transitioning to Yi Chen's side, people discussed, astonished at how this boy could be so despicable, using such means to pass the test and still dare to walk the path with arrogance. Yi Chen's eyes narrowed. Anyone standing here would try to pull others down. What right do you have to speak to me like that, you coward? You dare to accuse me without evidence. Guiyorong observed from afar. Indeed, these two have met before the disciple admission ceremony. The tragic fate must be thwarted from the very beginning. If Yi Chen shows any resistance, I'll immediately break his leg to prevent him from reaching the disciple admission hall. Yi Chen said, Big brother, you, came early in the morning to find a nobody like me. It's probably not because I broke your record. It's anger, isn't it? The crowd buzzed. Big brother of Qinglan sect, being so small and petty. But it wasn't necessarily true. Yi Chen broke his record by hitting him in the face. He was just a minor nuisance. Ling Xiao chuckled. You were so scared, you ran away with your tail between your legs to break my record. What's so satisfying about that? No, it's not. It's not you feeling so cool about it, Yi Chen retorted. You think this is something to be proud of? You're just a cheater. I'll give you this video to keep as a family heirloom, Ling Xiao taunted, presenting a video. Yi Chen immediately flew into a rage, smashing the stone to pieces. Guo Yurong worriedly drew her sword. Suddenly, Tiu Hong appeared behind them. Xiao faced danger without fear. Truly surprising. Was that Yi Chen? Guo Yurong was startled. Master, why are you here? Xiao Hongling smiled. Shu, keep watching. Yi Chen retorted, You're just spouting nonsense, you big brother waste. If you have the guts, say it again. Ling Xiao responded, I was planning to wait until tomorrow to beat you to a pulp. You want to get beaten up early, huh? I've never seen such a request before. Yi Chen was uncomfortable. You're wasting your words. If you're so shameless, don't blame me for being impolite. Guiyurong felt uneasy. Oh no, big brother is looking for trouble. Provoking him first and failing to resist will lead to humiliation and ridicule. Xiao Hongling thought, indeed, I should break Yi Chen's leg. Ling Xiao continued to provoke. To avoid saying that I'm bullying you, why don't you just strike me with your sword? How about it, come on. But Yi Chen began to hesitate. Wait a minute, why is this guy so arrogant? Daring to provoke me in front of everyone. Could he be hiding some trap? He realized Ling Xiao was trying to force him into action first, then use that as a reason to strip him of his disciple status. This plan was truly vicious. Ling Xiao wondered why Yi Chen was hesitating, so he continued his provocation. Smirking, he said, I'm standing here, motionless. Aren't you going to do anything? Do you still need my big brother to give you directions? This pushed Yi Chen over the edge of anger. He pointed his finger. You despicable little scoundrel, does your family really think I can't see through your tricks? Hui Yurong and Master Xiao Hongling were speechless. What kind of trick could he have? Ling Xiao shrugged. Lost your courage, huh? You were so bold just now, now you're looking around. Who would have thought you were such a coward? I know now. You're so scared you're about to wet yourself. Just a little push and you'll reveal yourself to everyone, Ling Xiao taunted. Yi Chen charged forward angrily. Insolent. Elder C panicked. Young man, remember not to act recklessly. Your destiny will come another day. Guo Yurong also prepared herself, but Yi Chen didn't strike Ling Xiao. I'll leave. Then he added, one day, I'll make you regret provoking me. Ling Xiao remarked, I'm tired of waiting. Hu Yurong breathed a sigh of relief. That was dangerous. If he had attacked Big Brother just now, the consequences would have been unimaginable. She said to Xiao Hongling, Big Brother is so unpredictable today. Master, take a look. Xiao Hongling smiled. Look at Ling Xiao, he looks so cute. The Xianyu system announced, congratulations on successfully completing the storyline. Ling Xiao panicked. The original storyline wasn't supposed to end with the throwing of the video. 
he didn't expect Yi Chen to suddenly cause chaos. He was almost scared to death. Luckily, his acting skills were good. Otherwise, this part of the story would have fallen apart. Ling Xiao recalled the script, then stepped on Yi Chen's hand. You haven't even entered Qinglan sect yet. Relying on your status as a wild man, you dare to cultivate here without permission. Suddenly, he noticed someone behind him questioning loudly. Who's there? Chu Yu Wei appeared. Big brother, don't bully others excessively. Sooner or later, Yi Chen will join the sect. As big brother, shouldn't you have the moral integrity not to oppress fellow disciples? Ling Xiao smirked. In the novel, the unique affection of senior sister Chu Yu Wei towards Yi Chen is unparalleled. This time, I can definitely smoothly progress through the entire storyline. The scene shifted to Hushin Pavilion. Ling Xiao was surprised. How did they meet so quickly? Yi Chen said to Chu Yu Wei, the melodies of this piece of music are hard to find. Qinglan sect truly has many beauties. Just casually walking around, you can encounter a stunning sight. Then he continued, if senior sister has time, you can play music for me to listen to. Surely, my swordsmanship can reach new heights. He smirked, thinking, let's see if I can captivate her. Ling Xiao breathed a sigh of relief. Luckily, the storyline is still intact. Next, I just need to wait for Yi Chen to start cultivating. Then I can sneak attack him. When I am beaten, today's mission will be completed perfectly. First of all, he had to cover his ears to avoid being dazzled by junior sister's music. But suddenly, Yi Chen's nose started bleeding. What's going on? Elder C warned, young man, this girl hides killing intent in her music. Listening for too long will harm the body. Yi Chen was surprised. What? Chu Yue said coldly, no one dares to disturb my music practice. I originally wanted to test the skill of my junior brother, but I didn't expect you to be such an insignificant person. Yi Chen bowed his head. Disturbing senior sister's music practice is not right. I hope senior sister will forgive me. She said, tomorrow is the day of accepting disciples. Whether you can join the sect is still uncertain. Ling Xiao panicked. This is not good, not good at all. The male and female protagonists are about to fight, how will the storyline unfold? The first impression is extremely important. I have to quickly help Yi Chen. Then he appeared. I thought someone was bullying my junior sister. It turns out to be your cowardly friend. You didn't dare to compete with me before, now you're bullying women. Truly despicable. Yi Chen drew his sword and said, you speak nonsense. You're the big brother of Qinglan sect, yet you repeatedly behave shamelessly and maliciously. Your words are venomous. Your conduct is lacking in virtue, truly bringing shame upon the righteous people of the world. Now, resorting to deceitful tactics to deceive senior sister is despicable and infuriating. It will surely lead to a great disaster in the future. Ling Xiao provocatively challenged, do you want to show off without any reason? Do you believe I can beat you? Yi Chen interrupted, should I be afraid of your despicable family member? Feeling angry, Chu Yu Wei blew both of them away. Ruffian. How dare you disrespect big brother like this? Ling Xiao lay motionless on the ground, realizing, it's ruined. The storyline has deviated. Yi Chen felt bitter. So you're all in it together. Wait for me. Xian Yu system announced, congratulations, the master has successfully completed the plot by defeating the main character. Keep striving for the major disciple recruitment event. Ling Xiao thought to himself, it's as if the plot has been completed. I'm exhausted. To avoid causing further trouble, I must quickly escape. He then pretended to chase after Yi Chen. You despicable scoundrel. I must report this to master. Chu Yu Wei remained seated, feeling panic. Why did it turn out like this? I only wanted to vent my anger for Big Brother. How did it end up injuring Big Brother instead? This is bad. According to the memory of a past life, Yi Chen would severely injure Big Brother a few days ago. But now, I've blown away both Yi Chen and Big Brother. The outcome deviated from the memory. As long as it didn't develop according to the memory, it could be considered a success. But based on Big Brother's personality, he might lose face at the major disciple recruitment event tomorrow. Before that, I definitely have to do something. The scene shifted to Xiaodiao, surrounded by people. Xiaodiao, are you eating my melon? Fortunately, the senior disciple of Qinglan sect had just issued a new magical weapon that could suppress it. Destroy it. But Yi Chen immediately appeared and destroyed the other person's staff. 
He then approached, saying, Xiao Diao, I'm sorry. Yi Chen slashed that man to death. I hate it when others harm my friends and loved ones. Others witnessing this scene immediately bowed in reverence. Please, please spare our lives. Yi Chen said, You don't need to be afraid. Yi Chen always handles matters of justice and revenge with discretion. I have never unjustly harmed innocent people. The scene shifted to Ling Xiao, who observed the situation while murmuring to himself, he's truly despicable. This main character, Yi Chen, is a typical hypocrite. He allows his pet to harm others' livelihoods but doesn't allow others to resist. My junior sister and master want to make this kind of person their harem. Ridiculous. Even a minor villain like me is concerned. This place is just a world in a novel. Once it's over, I'll leave. The world is vast, going home is the best. Tomorrow, I'll go up the mountain to participate in the major disciple recruitment event. I have to rest early. Tomorrow, I still have to let him hit my face. But then he got up. Before going to bed, I have to visit my junior sisters. It's inevitable, I have to return to character settings. Xian Yu system announced, the master has successfully returned to character settings and received rewards in advance. Suddenly, Chu Yu Wei appeared. Big brother, have you rested? Ling Xiao wondered, huh? Why is senior sister Chu Yu Wei looking for me at this hour? He then opened the door, thinking to himself, senior sister Chu Yu Wei, with a soul as pure as a sword, proficient in playing the zither, with a gentle and virtuous character like a blank sheet of paper. In the original work, even though Ling Xiao was ultimately defeated and captured by the main character Yi Chen in the forbidden area behind the mountain, the other two junior sisters didn't kill him. Only this girl still begged for his forgiveness. After being hit by Yi Chen, he was no longer a hero in her eyes. This might be the last time I see her like this. Then Ling Xiao smirked. It's been a while since we last met. Stay calm, stay calm. Maintain the character setting of the villain Big Brother. Ling Xiao said, well, big brother, I will help you check your body. He thought to himself, I played such an evil character, she would definitely want to punch me. But Chu Yu Wei actively approached, causing Ling Xiao to retreat. Something's not right, why is the character setting of this third junior sister not correct? Everything seems to be deviating from the script. How can I continue to act like this? The Xian Yu system warned, warning, the character setting of the antagonist Ling Xiao is at risk of collapsing. It must be corrected. Ling Xiao thought to himself, that's right, I'm the lustful big brother, and opportunities come knocking. What should be avoided, let's avoid it. The character setting of junior sister has been destroyed, but the character setting of my antagonist cannot be destroyed. Senior sister forgives me, it's all for the mission. As Chu Yu Wei approached with her zither, she accidentally hit Ling Xiao in the face with it. Big brother, are you okay? Ling Xiao, with a nosebleed, lied on the ground, saying, I'm fine. He secretly thought, indeed, how can the wife of the main character be oppressed? The villain was punished as soon as he acted. Chu Yu Wei gently hugged Ling Xiao. How could it be okay? Brother, you're bleeding. Embarrassed, Ling Xiao thought, why is she so gentle? She's bigger than fourth junior sister. Then, he got up. Yeah, earlier, you asked me for help. Help with what? Ling Xiao asked. Afraid, Chu Yu Wei said, yesterday, while practicing the heavenly sound technique, I accidentally broke a string of my celestial zither. I want to go down the mountain tomorrow and find a Qi Foundation master to repair it. Since I'm not familiar with the city, I want Big Brother to accompany me. I don't know if that's possible. Surprised, Ling Xiao said, huh, fixing your zither? That's not in the book's storyline. Then he straightforwardly said, isn't tomorrow the major disciple recruitment event? As the senior disciple of Shenshuan Peak, should be present. How could I forget? Chu Yu Wei appeared saddened. Big brother can't help me just this once. Ling Xiao immediately felt compelled. Who can resist this? He quickly closed the door. Time was running out. Junior sister should go home early and rest to avoid missing tomorrow's early class. Feeling upset, afraid sighed. Inside, Ling Xiao snorted. What's this joke? Tomorrow, I have to quickly prepare for Yi Chen, the main character, to hit my face again. Can't resist, but have to resist. The character settings of the three senior sisters aren't quite right either. This scene about fixing the zither is not found in the original storyline. Thinking about it, third junior sister Chu Yu Wei had indeed accidentally broken a string of her celestial zither. 
This zither was a treasure left by her mother and was extremely precious to her. How could it suddenly break? Suddenly, there was Hua Zhen's voice. Big brother, are you asleep? Ling Xiao opened the door. What's up? Big brother, master has returned, and she wants to meet you immediately. Ling Xiao couldn't understand. This scene wasn't in the original novel either. Everything's chaotic. All chaotic. No more worrying. I have to go to find out. Chu Yuwei stood behind a nearby bush, secretly thinking, Big brother, Chu Yuwei always believed that this zither was the most important thing in her life. Then, on that day, seeing everything related to the future, Chu Yuwei suddenly had an epiphany. The only one who truly treats me well is Big Brother. The reason I intentionally broke the zither string was to lead Big Brother away from this troubled world. Does he know? According to the script, tomorrow, that demon Yi Chen will come knocking. If I can't run away, then I must make sure that Big Brother doesn't suffer a devastating blow from Yi Chen tomorrow. The scene shifted to the peak of Shenchuan Peak. Ling Xiao went to the Valley of Ten Thousand Flowers. Ling Xiao felt uneasy. It felt like the calm before the storm, what could possibly require him to be summoned in the middle of the night? He remembered a scene from when he was bathing in the hot spring. Xiao Hongling misunderstood and came in. Don't be embarrassed, we're both women. Why feel shy? Ling Xiao worried, could Master have known? Could it be that Master knew it was me? Xiao Hongling spoke up, come in quickly, dear disciple. Ling Xiao thought to himself, the smell of alcohol is too strong. Master drinks drink alcohol? Xiao Hongling asked, why aren't you coming in? Why don't you listen to Master? Ling Xiao helplessly replied, then I'm disturbing you. He thought, oh, mother, a 200-year-old woman knows how to act spoiled, but her temperament doesn't seem bad. Maybe my secret isn't exposed yet. Ling Xiao stepped inside and greeted Master. Xiao Hongling smiled and said, Master hasn't seen you in a while. Come here for a closer look. She then pulled Ling Xiao in, making him panic. Is she drunk? Drunk to the point of madness? Ling Xiao thought. Xiao Hongling approached Ling Xiao, causing him to blush. Master, please don't touch me anymore. If you continue, we won't have our bond intact by tomorrow when Yi Chen hits me, Ling Xiao quietly thinking. Xiao Hongling looked intently. It's been three years since we last met, and you've already broken through the foundation establishment stage. Not only that, but your spiritual roots have also undergone a transformation. Ling Xiao broke out in a cold sweat. Truly, nothing can be hidden from this top cultivator. Ling Xiao hesitated, then said, Disciple has been fortunate. But I hope Master can reduce your anger. I cannot reveal this secret. Xiao Hongling was surprised. Oh, there's still this matter. It's quite reasonable. After all, it's only natural that Xiao Hongling's disciple receives the blessing of Heavenly Dao's favor. Ling Xiao laughed. Master is right. He thought to himself, thank goodness. Taking advantage of her drunken state, I managed to deceive her. Xiao Hongling continued, right, have you met Yi Chen yet? Ling Xiao was startled. How did she know about Yi Chen in advance? Xiao Hongling went on, forget about it. Let's not talk about that hateful person anymore. Dear disciple, let's do something fun. She immediately pushed Ling Xiao into another world. Ling Xiao wondered, is this the Valley of Ten Thousand Flowers? Xiao Hongling said, dear disciple, quickly fencing with your master. Ling Xiao felt helpless. Fencing? But she's swordsmanship master, at the pinnacle of swordsmanship. She's the top swordsman of the Qinglan sect. How can I spar with her with just a sword? Ling Xiao was about to decline when Xiao Hongling conjured a sword. It emitted a terrifying aura, an unparalleled sword intent, the simplest yet most formidable form of swordsmanship. Damn it, this woman wants to use her sword intent to devour me, to nurture her own sword spirit. As a villain in this life, if Ling Xiao were to die, he could only die by his own hands. He then took out his own sword. Xiao Hongling kindly remarked, Dear disciple, it's the first time I've seen you use a sword so seriously after spending so long on the mountain. Your sword aura is not bad, but your sword intent is a bit weak. Nevertheless, it shows promise for the future. Very well, today, your master will spar with you. Lightning struck from the sky. Xiao Hongling smiled, can you keep up with my speed, dear disciple? Ling Xiao continuously dodged. This girl truly wanted to kill him. Everyone's character settings were all ruined. As a villain, he struggled to follow the plot. 
how could everything be ruined like this? Damn it, this villain doesn't have to do anything. He was hit by a bolt of lightning, causing him to fall down. Exhausted, he opened his eyes. Am I dead? Time never stops. This is the domain of Sword Chi. Xiao Hongling said, Dear disciple, pay attention. This move is called the Sword Intent Transformation, suspending the sword in mid-air. Ling Xiao closed his eyes, and when he opened them again, Master Xiao Hongling was right in front of him. Xiao, be patient, she said. Blushing, Ling Xiao stammered, Wait, wait. Where does she want to go? He quickly closed his eyes again. The spiritual realm was too painful. When he opened his eyes once more, he saw Xiao Hongling thrusting her sword through him. Oh gods, the villain dies before his time. Xiao Hongling declared, What fate? Let's set aside destiny. My disciple will be the most outstanding person in this world. Weakly, Ling Xiao called out, Master, before slowly closing his eyes again. The scene shifts to Yi Chen. He asks Elder Si, What's going on? Elder Si responds, Something major has happened. Earlier, when I used celestial divination, I sensed a lucky with you at Qinglan sect, but now more than half of it has disappeared. Yi Chen, somewhat worried, asks, How could this happen? Elder Si explains, This kind of lucky wouldn't disappear without reason. It must have been taken by someone else. Furious, Yi Chen exclaims, I've always taken others' fortunes. How could someone else disrupt my luck? I won't allow Qinglan sect to exist like this, defying the heavens. Elder Si warns. Since you set foot here, the celestial fate has changed. Everything is wrong. With determination, Yi Chen declares, Elder Si, you know me. If they don't offend me, I won't offend them. I'll definitely avenge yesterday's humiliation. I must demand tenfold. The tonight on the mountain, outside the inn, the three junior sisters are hiding, observing. In this life, they won't let a tragedy happen. This Yi Chen must die. The scene shifts to a future memory at Tan Lam Tong. The Demon King laughs loudly. Yi Chen isn't at Qinglan sect. This is a great opportunity bestowed upon our demon sect by the heavens. Not a single one will be left alive. Wipe out Qinglan sect for me. The leader of Qinglan sect gave the order. Qinglan sect disciples, in order to protect our family, we must fight to the death. Commence the attack. Qinglan sect quickly became outnumbered. Three senior sisters were surrounded. Lu Yinin cried out, How could this happen? Lu Yinin panicked. Yi Chen. Yi Chen. Where is he? Why isn't he coming to rescue us? Chu Yuwei reassured her. Don't worry, fourth junior sister. Yi Chen will definitely come to save us. Gui Yorong agreed. Yes, he always appeared just in time whenever we faced danger before. Xiao Hongling said, He won't come. Yi Chen has gone on a trip. Right now, he's probably love with the princess of Phoenix Dynasty. Chu Yuwei found it hard to believe. How could that be? Gui Yorong worried. The calamity caused by the demon king is clearly his doing. How could he abandon us? Xiao Hongling ordered, Stand up, all of you. Even if Qinglan sect is left with only four of us, we must fight to the end. Even in death, we must stand tall. A sneering man said, How could I bear to let the beautiful lady meet such a fate? All of you, obediently follow me. At that moment, Yi Chen appeared and stopped him. Lu Yinin rejoiced. It's Yi Chen and senior sister. They finally arrived. Together, they used the combined power of the twin swords formation to push back the demon king. Yi Chen vowed, from now on, I will continue to destroy any threats to our sect. I will never spare you. Later, Yi Chen approached Lu Yinin. I'm sorry for being late. Fortunately, you all seem to be fine. But Lu Yinin's lack of response left Yi Chen perplexed. Lu Yinin said, in this critical moment, brother, is this all you have to say? Yi Chen wondered why Lu Yinin, Chu Yuwei, and Guo Yorong were looking at him like that. Xiao Hongling appeared behind them. You have obtained the Qinglan sword technique, and together with senior sister, you have mastered the twin swords formation, appearing at the crucial moment to turn the tide against the demon king. Why? Why is the opportunity so cunningly presented like this? Yi Chen, who are you really? Why is it that friends and loved ones associated with you never have a good ending? Ultimately, the one who benefits the most and dominates the world is always you. Yi Chen replied, Master, what are you saying? I don't understand. 
I know you're very upset, but right now the most important thing is to continue chasing the demon sect and seek revenge for the fallen disciples of Tom. Xiao Hongling drew her sword. Deceiver, you are the greatest enemy of Qinglan sect. I must kill you. With that, she lunged forward, but Yi Chen swiftly defeated her. He then said, Master, I am the chosen one, the son of destiny. Why can't you see? Do you want to fight me, master? Sister, the empress has led 800,000 elite soldiers from the north to the foot of the mountain. If you give the order, we can trap the demon sect in one fell swoop. Come with me. Let's seek revenge and cleanse the hatred for Qinglan sect together. Suddenly, a hallucinatory voice echoed in the girls' minds. Do you want to start over? Memories began to surface. The truth was revealed, leaving everyone stunned. It was Ling Xiao and Yi Chen facing off. So, you knew his true face early on. It was me. I'm the one who killed Big Brother. It turns out, it was Big Brother's actions when we were young. I always misunderstood him. The hallucinatory voice continued, I will grant you memories to take you back to the past. Whether you can change your fate this time depends on it. Returning to the past, the memories were transferred to the girls. If it weren't for those memories, how would I know the future? If it weren't for those memories, how would I see clearly the past of this life? I will never let the tragedy happen again. I will kill Yi Chen to protect Big Brother. At this moment, Yi Chen was immersed in sleep. Lu Yinin gave a signal. Now use your sharp claws to tear that scum apart. Xiao Diao was charging in when attacks came from both sides. Lu Kan warned Xiao Diao to be careful. All three collided, creating a loud bang. Yi Chen stirred. That thunder is too loud. Elder Si reminded him, young friend, wake up. There are enemies. Yi Chen immediately woke up and grabbed his sword. But outside, there was still silence, no sound at all. Yi Chen wondered, what's going on? Is there anything? Elder Si was certain he hadn't misheard. He could clearly sense three strong hostile forces targeting the room of his young friend. Yi Chen asked, Elder Si, did you intentionally scare me because you don't want me to go to Qinglan sect? Elder Si was hurt. How can you think of me like that? Am I that kind of person? He pointed out the thunder. See, I told you earlier. That was thunder, wasn't it? You misunderstood me. But Yi Chen turned back inside. All right, tomorrow is the day of Qinglan sect's grand ceremony. I need to sleep early to be well rested. Elder Si, please be quiet. If there's nothing, don't disturb me. Far away, Guiyurong was anxious. What's going on? I used all my strength, but suddenly the attacking force disappeared without a trace. She was perplexed. Why didn't her attack reach Yi Chen? She had aimed accurately. Then both of them were determined to attack again. Inside the inn, Yi Chen muttered to himself, This inn's bed is too hard. It hurts my back. Suddenly, Elder Si warned him, Be careful, young friend, there's someone attacking you from behind. When Yi Chen turned around, he only saw Sam set. Elder C, are you deceiving me again? Elder C was embarrassed. I really heard it earlier. If I lied, I would be struck by lightning. Yi Chen burst into laughter. You can eat random food, but you can't speak random words. Once you're a wandering ghost, if you get struck by lightning, I won't be able to save you. Let's sleep now. Guiyurong was infuriated. Despicable. So O.V. fretted. That Yi Chen guy really seems to the son of destiny. Lu Yinin resolved, it seems we can only wait for him to join the sect and then find an opportunity to kill him. Tomorrow, I won't lose. Transitioning to the memory. Ling Xiao was beaten badly by Yi Chen. He said bitterly, as the top disciple of the sect, how could you do something so despicable? Master Xiao Hongling broke the encirclement. Ling Xiao was just reckless for a moment. Let the kid go. I believe he will change. People discussed, how can there be such people? It's disgusting. Transitioning to the evening, Ling Xiao secretly went to stolen Xiao Hongling's magic weapon. Transitioning to the second day of the martial arts conference, Ling Xiao used the magic weapon to attack Yi Chen. Yi Chen, you're going to die. He was then detained in a cave. Chu Yuwei worried, big brother, how could you steal master's forbidden artifact, the black lotus, and even want to use it to harm Yi Chen, your fellow disciple? Fortunately, Deep managed to escape this time. If you had activated it, the consequences would have been severe. Ling Xiao hesitated. Uh. Where's master? 
Chu Yue said, Master is thoroughly disappointed with you. Now she's giving Yi Chen the Supreme Sword intent to compensate for your offense against him. Upon hearing this, Ling Xiao rushed to intervene. Junior sisters are not allowed to be with Yi Chen. He's a wicked person. Hui Yurong saw this and kicked Ling Xiao. You want to harm Junior Sister again? As the big bother in charge of Shenshuanfeng, big brother, you're doing such despicable things. You've ruined the reputation of Shenshuanfeng. If you have any affection left for Shenshuanfeng, commit suicide and stop tarnishing its reputation. Ling Xiao picked up the knife and muttered, I'm tired. Transitioning back to reality, Ling Xiao suddenly opened his eyes. That dream was so long. It felt so real, almost like my memories. Xiao Hongling asked, Are you awake? Clearly, Master passed on the Supreme Sword intent to you. You look exhausted. Here, have some wine. Congratulations on receiving the Supreme Sword intent that Master gave you. 